Hi everyone, it's Saloni Goyal. Welcome back to today's session. Today we'll be discussing another chapter of class 11th and that is The Adventure by Jayant Nirlakar. This is a chapter that beautifully blends two things that is history and science. It is a chapter that talks about time travel. Yes, time travel is a new concept. It actually means that a person from a particular period of time, he actually goes into the past or he actually goes into the future. A person in the present state, he's actually traveling in the past or in the future. This story begins with Professor Gangadhar undertaking a train journey. A train journey from Pune to Mumbai in Jijamath Express. Now usually the Mumbai that we know is very different from what Gangadhar experiences. As soon as he lands, you know, he comes to Mumbai, he sees that Victoria Terminus Station, which was supposedly very dirty, is very clean today. The East India Company that had gone back from India in the year of 1857, it was still existing in Mumbai. Those two facts were really strange for Professor Gangadhar Pant. Then he started moving around in the city and he found that the things that he knew about Mumbai is exactly different what, from what he was experiencing today. Gangadhar Pant next goes to the library. According to the history facts, it was Marathas who were defeated by the Mughals in the Battle of Panipat. Yes, it's a historical fact, I'm sure. We must have studied in all our history books that Marathas, even though they were very, very powerful, they lost from the Mughals in the Battle of Panipat. But when Gangadhar Pant, he goes to the library and he opens the book, the history book there stated that it was not the Marathas who were defeated, but it was the Mughals that were defeated in the Battle of Panipat. Mughals being defeated in the Battle of Panipat and secondly, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very strange fact for Gangadhar Pant. He never knew that the you know, Marathas were ever, ever, you know, they ever won against the uh, Mughals in the Battle of Panipat. So it was very really amazing, but it was a very really strange fact for him. First, the East India Company still, you know, uh, existing in India. And secondly, the Mughals being defeated in the Battle of Panipat were the facts that were totally, totally not existing in his state of mind. So next what Gangadhar Pant says that let's go to Azad Maidan and let's see what is happening there. When Gangadhar Pant goes to the Azad Maidan, he sees that there is a lecture going on on the stage. Now as inquisitive person as Gangadhar Pant is, also known as Professor Guy Tonde, he goes on the stage and he starts attending that lecture. Soon he starts speaking about the speaker of the lecture. People are not interested to hear Gangadhar Pant, but he's very forceful to exert his points. Soon the crowd gets irritated and the people bash Gangadhar Pant and he lays unconscious in Azad Maidan. Next, when he opens his eyes, he finds himself in the hospital bed. For two days, he was completely in a different place. He was in Mumbai, which he knew but also which he did not know. Mumbai was a place, you know, he has been there, he has lived there. But today, the Mumbai that he experienced in his time travel was completely different. Gangadhar Pant wanted answers. He wanted answers to all his questions. He approached his friend, Desh Pandey, and asked him what was happening with him. Desh Pandey, he actually told Gangadhar Pant that for two days, he was in a state of coma. Yes, I am sure that the story is very, uh, you know, uh, appearing to be very strange and appearing to be very confused. Let's start from the beginning. Professor Gangadhar Pant, he is a history teacher, he's a history lecturer. And on his way to a university to give his lecture, he meets with an accident. The lecture that he was supposed to give to his students was about two theories, the catastrophe theory and lack of determinism in quantum theory. These two theories Gangadhar Pant was supposedly going to discuss with all his students. So when he met with an accident, these two theories were going inside his mind. And when he is in the state of coma, he experiences both those theories in his real life. Now I discussed about you two strange events. East India Company had left India after the revolt of 1857 
and the history states that it was Mughals who had been victorious in the Battle of Panipat. But those two facts completely go haphazard in the time travel of Tangadhar Panth. Why is that? That is because of the two theories, catastrophe theory and lack of determinism in quantum theory. So catastrophe theory states that a small change in an event can change the entire scenario. For example, the battle of Panipat, the Mughals won that battle. But why did the Mughals won that battle? They won that battle because Abdali, who was the leader of the Mughals, he was able to you know, successfully shoot Vishwas Rao, who was the most powerful Maratha ruler. Eventually, because of this event, the Marathas had lost against uh, you know, the Mughals in the battle of Panipat. So, in his time travel, a slight change, for example, Vishwas Rao, if he had not been shot with that bullet, the Marathas would have won the battle of Panipat. A small change in the event could have changed the entire scenario. That is the catastrophe theory. Vishwas Rao, historically and presently, he was killed by Abdali. But if he had changed that event, had the bullet not struck the body of Vishwas Rao, Marathas would have won against the Mughals. So a slight change. Vishwas Rao not being hit by the bullet, it would have resulted in the you know, Marathas being victorious over the Mughals. That is the catastrophe theory. And now come, let's come to the lack of determinism in quantum theory. Now, lack of determinism in quantum theory states that electrons in an atom, we do not know, they are not always constant, they always move. Right? The electrons are always moving in an atom. We don't know they can go from a place of high energy to low energy, from low energy to high energy. Their position is not fixed. In the same way, uh, the narrator is trying to tell us that the electrons of the mind, they also keep moving. They can take a person to the future, they can take a person to the past. I mean, the electrons of the human mind are also always moving. We can't put the electrons in the same position. So because of the electrons and their movement, the movement of the mind also changes and it experiences time travel. So Gangadhar Panth got both his answers. He felt that if the, you know, Vishwasura would not have been hit by the bullet, Marathas would have won. So that is the catastrophe theory. And the justification for time travel of Gangadhar Panth is quantum theory. Because the electrons of the human mind are always fluctuating, are always changing their place from one to another. In the same way, Professor Gangadhar Panth, he is also experiencing time travel. So this chapter, the adventure, is all about time travel. How the human mind, because Gangadhar Panth had met with an accident and he went into a coma, when he was, you know, he met with an accident, he was thinking about the catastrophe theory and the quantum theory. That's why in a state of coma, he experiences both these theories. He leading, you know, going to Mumbai and going to the library and experiencing the change in the historical fact of Marathas being one is because of the catastrophe theory. And the justification for his time travel is a quantum theory. The electrons in the mind, the impact of the car accident was such that it affected the electrons in his mind and led to the situation of time travel. So in this chapter, you have to focus about Professor Guy Tonde, who is a history lecturer. History lecturer, he is on his visit to a university to give a lecture, but midway he, you know, he experiences an accident. Because of the accident, he's in a state of coma. In a state of coma, he is experiencing a travel from Pune to Mumbai, a Mumbai that is totally different for him, a Mumbai where the East India Company is still existing. The historical fact says East India Company had gone from India after the revolt of 1857, but here East India Company was still existing. All the time travel that you know uh, Professor Guy Tonde is experiencing in this story is owing to the factor of time travel and quantum theory. So you have to make focus on both these important theories, the catastrophe and lack of determinism in quantum theory. This chapter adventure takes you truly to a ride of adventure. I am sure you must have all liked it. Thank you so much. All have a nice day. See you next time.